okay we are live already in YouTube and in Ramble so if you are in Ramble waiting already uh, you better click at the play and uh, okay so if you are in Ramble already we started uh, usually ramble it takes a little bit time more than YouTube to start immediately but it should show soon in your screen you can refresh the page and you will see my the global earth all right uh, welcome everybody may the Lord bless you all and today we are going to have some good time together try to discuss Islam with Muslims if we have any Muhammadan is here with us, uh, please feel free. You can join us and you can put your hand. We would like to have a nice conversation. There is no need to use a bad language or to be aggressive. You are welcome to convince us. Uh, hello, CP. Question, brother. I watch recent video of J. Smith applying textual criticism to Islam and there is 200-300 years gap from when Muhammad died and when Hadith were put forth. Well, you know, I mean, you see, I don't, uh, I don't, like I use this argument if I want to go in details about the Hadith. But if the Muslims believe in it, you better debate them about what they believe. You know? Those things, you know, like uh, J. Smith, he, what he is doing, is like if you are debating someone, he is doing academic st study, you know? But Muslims, average Muslims, they don't even know what is in their book. The same as many Christians, they are Christian by name. They were across, but they have no idea what the Bible teaches. So those arguments, they can be used with someone uh, you know, uh, he knows he have knowledge, he study, and then you can discuss with him how valid this text is. However, in our scenario, we are uh, fighting the cult of Muhammad. When you want to fight somebody, cult, believe, you fight his belief. You don't fight your own theories or, uh, you know, trying to prove what actually in fact I believe there is many Muslims would be will be happy to see J Smith uh, making a hadith is invalid because now they can wash all the garbage in the hadith say see even you Christians agree with us it is invalid so this is what uh, what we see every day with the Muslims the second we show them something embar embarrassing what they say this hadith is fabricated so when a Christian, he come and he say uh, such a statement, the Muslim will be happy for it. I mean, they are desperate to get rid of the Hadith. So it's not even smart, in my way I view it, it's not even smart to go there. Are you here to defeat Islam or you are here to support Islam? The one who make argument Hadith is not valid is supporting Islam. Anyone who say hadith, you see, I can agree with him that hadith is full of garbage, you know, and uh, it, obviously there's many of it is written long after, uh, all of it actually written after, but maybe there is some truth there. However, I debate the Muslims about what they believe. And it's for our benefit to expose Islam, to debate them about what they believe not what you think so i don't uh, i don't like that direction of uh, of fighting islam i believe it's not even a smart and it doesn't take you anywhere and the muslim will like it so what j smith is saying to you the hadith is daif Thank you very much, J. Smith. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and at the same time, 
We have like uh, today we have liberals, right? Generation of liberals brainwashed in, in the West, in America and Europe. It doesn't matter what you show them. You show them women are raped by, by Hamas, still they say they think a Palestinian are uh, fight they are freedom fighters. You show them that they are burning children, still they think, you know, so you don't waste your time with the stupid things. If you want to beat somebody argument, you use his argument, not yours. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us? I hope my voice coming good in Rambor and in YouTube. Is the voice good in Rambo? Let us hope so. In a video of yours, I heard that uh, Muhammad having sexual intercourse with an animal. Yeah. Uh, the Muslim, they try to say it's not, but it's obvious. All right. I will give you the reference if you are interested. But you have to use Google Translation to translate. Now for sure the Muslims, uh, they try, uh, they try their best to make it look different, you know. This is why, like, you know, when G. Smith, he said Hadith is not uh, valid, those people, they would love it. <laughs> you are not you are not helping the case against Islam you are supporting Islam all right Actually, there is a translation for the whole thing. I think it's in Answering Islam webpage. You can find it. Let me see if I can find it in English. I mean, you choose this topic for the morning. All right. <clears throat> the question by question, let me just finish the first one and then you give me the second one. We cannot answer every question at the same time. The hadith, you can find it as an example here, but I'm trying to find you the whole details. This is the link. Oh, hold on, let me post the link for you, sorry. And we will post it in Rambo. And we will post it in YouTube. You can use Google Translation. Uh, YouTube did not allow me to post it. The link is so long, maybe. All right, no problem. 
you have to shorten it. If you go here, oh, we don't want to go through video, sorry. Woman. Ah, shut up. Let us go here. And open this link here. Here it says from Abu Huraira that if he sit between her four legs and he did if her, he have to wash. The Muslim they say this is not about an animal. Will you tell me what is the thing? A female she have four things. Four. Uh... <laughs> All right. But if you find the web page in English, that will be better because even in Nawawi he explained the hadith. And he explained clearly about having sex with animals. Have you ever heard of a woman? She have four legs. A woman. I mean, even Nancy Balusi, she have two. Right. And you can find uh, let us see actually it is copied from here in English. Maybe we can find the the whole thing in English. I did not expect my day to start with this in the morning, but people they come. The same person he asked the question last night actually, right? And it looked like he stuck with it. Uh, Yeah, if somebody can find it in uh, in answering Islam, you will find all details. And and Nawawi, which is a big, big, a huge Imam in Islam, a scholar, he explained how it is about having sex with dead animals. You know what? Let me do this. Let us try. Okay, we found it. All right, actually, this article written by Sam Shamoon, and this is after my debate with a bunch of Abdul about this issue, and we got them busted. So he made an article, which which is very good, and he did the translation for sure. There is somebody helping him in the translation. But this is the article here, and you can tell right away from the interpretation of the Muslims that this is about something any human. So here it says, and this is the interpretation of an Nawawi. Let us go down. For the same hadith. It says here, and this is, remember, this is, interpretation uh, of a Nawawi. This is not Christians. Is the text clear? Is the text clear? Now you do not need the Arabic. Here we go. We have it in English. And now please, if you have kids around, just mute the speaker. Okay? Just, this is very filthy. filthy. You know, this is Islam. 
so here the Imam supposedly explaining what this is about. Here it says, you need to read me carefully, please. Our companions have said that it, if the penal head has been treated a woman anus or a man anus or an animal anus, animal vagina, or it is anus, then it is necessarily to wash. Whether the one being penetrated alive or dead, what? Alive or dead? Animal anus, man anus. Do you see it? Young or old, whether it's done intentionally or not intentionally. Have you ever heard of somebody who put his penis in someone else's penis and he was not doing it intentionally? Have you ever heard of somebody putting his penis in the anus of, a, of an animal and that was not intentionally? Like what? You were driving in the highway and the guy stopped suddenly in the front of you and you're like, boing? I mean, do you see the stupidity? What intentionally? What, what, what does that mean? And then the stories continue, and then things get more dirty. I'm not going to read it all. Here it says, and this is the decent Muslim women who wear hijab. If a woman she insert in her vagina an animal penis, she must wash. And look here, what is important is washing the vagina, not the women inserting an animal penis. No. Here, we are conservative Muslims, you know. And then he says, and if she insert a detached penis, what the heck is that? Dhakaran maqtu'an, which means cut off penis. Uh, a severed male member uh, or a material aid perhaps. <laughs> what women are doing these days, I don't know. In the time of Muhammad, I have no idea. I feel still like I'm so young to read this. Uh, there are two opinions. Look, look at the decency. There is two opinion. None of them is about if this is allowed or not. No, if she should wash or not. So if this is not about having sex with animals, it's about having what? Anyway, you have the link. You can read it yourself. Take your time. And this is what Islam is about, what we can say. Let us post it for people in YouTube and people in Ramble. Do we have any Muhammadan? Let us... Uh, Screen not showing in YouTube. Oh, sorry, guys. I did not switch the screen. This is my fault. Yeah, yeah. It's my fault. Sorry. Here we go. Okay, now you see it. So going back, you can see it from here. This is the article. You can search it if you are watching the video later. Just search here. The Quran confused sentence uh, stains on sexual ethics, exposing some more of moral problems of Islam. And this is an article written by Sam Shamoon. And this is the hadith we talk about, you know. And here the reference about what we just read for you. I mean, it cannot get ugly more than this, you know. They are talking even having sex with a child, you know, young or growing. Uh, what is this? How even this is, can be part of any religion conversation. How this can be part of anything have to do with God and holiness and what is this? Somebody says the problem with that there is no reference for Islamic source. Who said so? That's not true. This hadith here, you see, this is a Nawawi. The reference is there. Oh, 
the references there and I can pause for you the reference for I know in Arabic but we are showing in, Arabic, in English because you don't know Arabic all right the problem with that there is no Islamic reference false reference is always there Uh, this is the Islamic reference, the Arabic one. I will replace it in the screen. Exactly the same page. It's just in Arabic. Sharh al Nawawi ala Muslim. And this is the hadith. And all the details you saw in English, it is there. So don't tell me the problem. There is no Islamic reference. Everything you see is there. See it? Every single word in the article is here. <laughs> So don't tell me it's not, uh, you know, we don't have the reference. We do. If women insert a male or an animal, this is Google translation, remember, it's not accurate. She must wash. If she insert a cut off male, which means a penis cut off, the most correct opinion she have to wash. Uh... I mean, look, yeah, and they say to you, you know, the problem, the problem, we don't have the Arabic. Who said so? So where do we get this from? From the White House? Well, let me post the link in Rambo because in YouTube this link will not work. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? So the Muslims are busy telling us about Allah and the Holy Prophet and you know, but look at this garbage. This is not a religion. We are talking about if we should wash or not after having sex with young boy or even putting the penis in the anus of a man or an animal. Is that what really important in this religion? Yes. So when a Muslim, he come and he want to debate us about Trinity. I mean, who are you to debate us about Trinity? Look who you are. Look what you, what, look what you believe. Look what you worship. Look who, what is your guideline. The Muslim, they spend their day talking about genie, you know, because fiction is what makes Muslims fear God. And Islam about fearing God, not about believing in God. So if I can make you fear this God, which even if he's a fiction God, then you will stay in your belief. You will be worried, you will be afraid. How magician call upon the jinn, Mufti Ming said. How? Tell us. Magician, he killed the jinn, really? <laughs> Hiding fact about jinn in Islam, really? Like what? Like jinn have sex with his wife and had intercourse with her. And then he saw how the fire catch in her vagina. Because there's a lot of bushes there and he is made of fire. How to tell if someone is a jinn. Look how he move his head. Do you see how the genie move his head, brother? Listen carefully. Do you see how the jinn move his head? This is how the jinn move his head. Are we learning? Brothers and sisters, 
Now we are discovering things. Only Allah knows. <laughs> a jinn interrupt a da'wah. This guy is a genie. He interrupted da'wah. I mean, just to make people click and watch. And people are stupid. All right, let us go. We have somebody on the chat. Go ahead, my friend. al an salam I do. Go ahead. Are you a Muslim? Yes. What? So you have no comment about what we say? Nothing? Suddenly you want to talk about theology? So everything we say to you, you heard nothing, you know nothing. And the only thing you are worrying about theology. What theology? Do you know what theology mean? Yeah. What theology mean? Tell me, teach me. Doctrine? Do you Muslims have doctrine? Yes. What is your doctrine? Okay, what is your doctrine? Tell me about it. Well, we just... I don't understand. Can you speak louder? Who care if your God? Who care if your God is one? Secondly, do your God Himself believe He is one? What? What? Well, that verse doesn't say Allah is one. No, 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 my friend. That verse doesn't say Allah is one. It says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Ahad in Arabic means one off. Ahad. He is one off. Yeah. If I type the word ahad in the Quran right now, here we go. I will type it in the search engine. You will find it repeated tons of times in the Quran. And all of it is coming one off. You can check every verse you see in the screen. You see my screen? Do you see my screen? Yes, yes. All right. Every verse of those, do you see the highlighted in yellow word? Yes. Each one of them is the word ahad. Ahad always mean one off. All of those. Look how many. And then we arrive to the verse you mentioned yourself. You said Allah, he says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. And then you will find that this verse have nothing to do with Allah as being one. Allah is being one off. This is what Ahad mean. This is the same word as Echad, Echad, which represent unity or a group. So when Muslims they say Allah is Ahad, they just busted Allah. He can't be one. Secondly, if your God is one or two, who care? The there is people who worship Satan and they have the temple of Satan. They believe that God is one and He is Satan. Now the question is, is your God is Satan or he is the good God? Okay. What? Okay, can you say? Is your God Satan? Uh, can you help? How do you know that your God is not Satan? Well, I have tons of proofs, you know, as an example, Satan always, he is, uh, you know, he focuses in sexual temptation and money and power. Is that correct? So what your God focus in, what is your reward? If you believe in this God, Allah, isn't it sex and money? Huh? Huh? I don't hear you what you can. Yeah. exactly but Allah he mentioned specifically that he is even going to jail for you women who they are jailed they are jailed they can't leave for eternity is just to rape them how that can be from God It's in the front of you, chapter 55, verse number 72. I'm showing it on the screen. Those women are jailed. They cannot move. They cannot get out. Their job is only 
to have open legs for the Muhammadans. To Allah will reward you if you follow him by women who they are jailed. They cannot go anywhere. Nobody can see them, only you. And they will stay with you there for eternity. Is that really from God? So what? Well, let us first agree that Islam is from the devil and then we can talk about the Trinity. Did you decide to leave Islam? I, I don't understand. What did you, did you, I don't know, your, your microphone is not clear. Did you decide to leave Islam? No, no, not for the sake. Either you leave Islam or not. We are not playing. We are not kids here. So, you, you, are, you I ask you. You say you are the one who said you want to speak about mythology. Why you want to change it now? So the mythology of Islam is what? There is a God. Muslim they say he is one, but when he speak in Arabic, he call himself we. They ask the Muslim why? They say because Allah he make it as a form of respect. So Allah he believe that if he is respected more, he have to be we, not one, and that is against him being one. Because obviously, being one is not enough respected. Being we is more respected. Then we ask the Muslims, uh, what the difference between Satan and Allah? And then in two minutes, we will find that Satan and Allah, they are one person. Because both of them, they focus in sexual temptation and money and power. Everything the Muslim is a promise is satanic. Even the Muslim, he been taught that he can lie. Even he lied to his wife, and the wife lied to her husband. A society based on lie is a society of the devil. All, and I mean, even the stupid religion, they say you should not lie. Even the stupid ones. Muhammad, he come with a with different um, uh, idea. No, no. You can lie to your wife, and your wife, she can lie to you, and you can lie to your friends. And you can lie to your enemy. So who is left? I lie to my wife. I lie to my friends. I lie to my enemies. The guy is gone. What happened to him? What happened to Mr. Mythology? Are you there, my friend? Mr. Mythology? Hmm. You should not leave. You can seek refuge by Allah and you will have victory. Right? Just seek refuge by Allah and you will win. So the Muslims, they have one topic they want to talk about, the Trinity. Why? Because Islam is empty. Who cares if you believe in one or two? By the way, we Christians, we believe in one God anyway. Trinity is one God. And you are being stupid. If we discuss the quality of their God and the quality of our God, you will see that their God cannot be God. In the Quran, the Quran says that Jesus is holy. And then the Muslim, he comes to you and says, how God can be born of a vagina? The Muslim they have a problem with Jesus born of a vagina, but they don't have a problem with their God kissing a vagina. Isn't it this is weird? So you have a problem with Jesus. He is born of a woman. As we see in chapter 21, verse number 91, it says Allah, he breathed into it. And he spoke about what? If you go to the from verse, it says it clearly. That he blow into her vagina. And Mary, the daughter of Amran. Who is Amran? Amran is the father of Musa. So the idiot Muhammad, he don't even know that Maryam, the sister of Aaron and Musa, have nothing to do with Mary, the sister, with the mother of Jesus. 
So he can, you know, in the beginning, when, when he said that Mary is a sister of Aaron, a Jewish man, he came to him and he said, uh, he said to Aisha, he did not find him home. He said to Aisha, well, what I know, this is wrong. There's hundreds of years between Mary, the sister of Aaron, you know, and uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus. Muhammad, he heard Aisha conversation with this man and she accused him to be a liar, which means, obviously, this is what Muhammad, he meant. And now Muhammad, he want to fix it. So he said they used to call them by their great prophets. But Aaron is not the great prophet. It's not. Not with the existence of Aaron, with, with, with Moses. Same time, the verses in the Quran about Ali Amran prove Muhammad, he, made, he meant that Mary, she is really the sister of Aaron, for real. Why? Because as you see, Mary, she become the daughter of Amran. And that is Maryam, the same sister of Aaron. And here it says, the Muslim translation, look what they look what they say. He says he breathed into her body. That's false. They say who guarded her chastity. That's false. The word chastity is not mentioned. The word is mentioned there is a vagina. Mary who guarded her vagina, we breathe into it, not into her body, into it. This is what the Arabic says. We blow into it. This is the word farjaha, which means vagina. And this is the word nafakhna, which means we blow in it. And this is the word fihi, which means in it. And the funny is that Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he created Adam the same he created Jesus. He said to him, be, and he was. But as you see, Allah, he sent down his word. The word went down to Mary. And then he breathed into Mary vagina. And then we have Jesus. The same story for Adam. Allah, he made mud. He fashioned the mud. He let the mud dry for 40 years. And then he breathed into the mud. Yet the stupid Quran, chapter 3, verse number 59 says, The similarity between Jesus and Adam, Allah said to him, Both are he made from turab, made them from dust. It was Jesus made from dust, Muslims? Is that how Allah created Jesus? The only one is a created from mud is Adam and Eve. The rest are just a reproduction. And here you notice how stupid the author of the Quran. Why did, God, did Allah, he made mud, he mixed the mud together and then he breathed into Jesus? Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone will say stupid things in the chat, I will block you. What do you mean, Mary, Allah rape Mary? What's wrong with you people? Why you say that? I mean, I don't know, people, they have a loose mouth. So if he breathed into her vagina, that means he raped her. Is that your conclusion now? Are you supposed to be smart? Or you are insulting Mary? Well, no. Do we have any Muhammadan? Don't make poo poo. Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Anyone? They know nothing about their God. 
Their book is full of funny, stupid stories, even it's not good for kids. And then they come to speak about mythology. So let us talk about mythology. If we say to you there is a mythology where if you touch a stone, it erases your sin. What is definition? What is your definition for such a mythology? Any Muslim can help us? Any Muhammadan can help us? What is the definition of the mythology where if you touch a stone or kiss a stone, it erases your sin? Who want to talk about it? Any Muslim? You don't have religion, obviously. You are just a pagan. It's not even a pagan, it's a silly paganism. Any Muhammadan would like to join us and explain why if we kiss a black stone, our sin is forgiven. Anyone? If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. So let us see this mythology and how it works. According to Muhammad, if you touch the black stone and the Yemeni corner, by the way, there's many ways to lose your sin in Islam. Just silly stuff. Very silly. Uh, but let's see this one, which is so clear that this is about paganism and Islam is nothing but pagan cult. Uh, where is the hadith? Uh, Here, all of this, we see how Muhammad, he touched the Yemeni, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the corner of Yemen. Let us see why he touched it. All of this, look at this. Hmm. Why? Any Muslim knows? So not only you have the black stone, Any Muhammadan? Omar said, Apostle of Allah did not give up touching the Yemeni corner and the black stone in each time he go around the Kaaba. Why? Any Muslim? I thought you believe that God is in heaven, you believe in one God, but now we have many stones involved with forgiving sin. Any Muhammadan can tell us what is the secret? Do you see all of this? is very authentic. And then there's the hadith where it says, whoever touched him, Allah erased his sin. Let us show the hadith. Either Islam is 
as they claim monotheist, monotheist religion, or there is involved in forgiving sin other objects. Any Muhammadan? What is this? Who is a Muhammad that would like to join us? What is this? More. Oh. Look how easy to lose your sin. Huh? What is this? So all what you need to do is just touch the stones? And you go in circle? And then your son is your your sin is gone? Check the waiting room. What is the waiting room? I don't know what is that. Any Muhammadan? All those are pagan rituals the Arab used to do before Islam. All of it. Any Muhammadan? And look at a very fancy way to lose your sin. It says here that Allah Messenger is saying, when a believer perform a pollution, then rinse his mouth, the sin goes out from his mouth. <laughs> That is so nice. So, brother, I go rape a woman or steal or do something, and then I do put some dirty water in my mouth, and then the sin is gone. Yeah, is that an is that the Islamic listering? <laughs> what the heck is that? Are you sure? And when he snuffs up the water, the sin go out of his nose. What the heck? You Muslims have sin in your nose? I thought those are boogers. And it's not. It turned to be no. Those are sin. And when he washes his face, the sin go out of his face. So why you need to pray? That's it. The sin is gone. And what about you take a shower and that's it? This is a religion? This is the hadith if you like to save it. And if you are watching the video in some other time, you can search for the reference as you see in the screen. All right? And we can find it to you in other forms too, not necessarily here. Because well, this hadith is mentioned many times, many places, not only here, tons of times, you know. So, like here, this is Muatta Malik, this is An Nisa'i, this is Ibn Majah. And as you see, this is all Sahih, you know. You can freeze the screen, the screen anytime, so you can, you can see the reference. You know, you can search for it, as you see. So this is a very authentic hadith, and the Muslim they cannot say it's a joke, it's a lie, it is not true, you know. Madness, nothing but madness. Do we have any Muhammadan? May they, may they.
So I find it funny that today we started by a Muslim he want to talk about mythology. And the second we ask him about mythology, he flee. Any Muhammadan? How is the sound coming in Ramble, guys? Do you hear any good in Ramble? Is it good? All right. I hope the quality of the image too is good. I don't know if I will continue going live in YouTube, but you know, it's just what we will lose. But I'm not back in YouTube actually. I'm staying in Ramble, but you know, until they delete our channel, because I believe they will do it. YouTube will do it sooner or later. Each time I reach like 80,000, 90,000, they delete my channel. So this time it was weird, like, the, the, because I'm very careful, you know, I don't keep my videos in my channel. Otherwise, those idiots in YouTube, they will take it down. And here I say to the atheist who side with the Mohammedan, you are siding with those who hate you most, and you are so stupid, unbelievably stupid. And this is what we see, actually. They go and they want to free Palestine, free Palestine. But those people, they want to get rid of you too. Those people believe in controlling the earth, not only Jerusalem. This is why I'm very convinced that those liberals in the West are the most stupid ever. They join with the one who want to destroy their civilization, if they have any left. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan would like to open his camera and show us how sin come out from his nose? I'm just curious. Who is a Muslim can prove to us that sin come out from his nose when he do this? You know, like these days, there is a slow motion recording. So don't give me excuse. You can do slow motion. Imagine how many people, like you make a video like the cat, don't walk in the Quran. Just do the same. The cat don't walk in the Quran. You know? So now you make a video. You can imagine how many millions they will watch it. Hundreds of millions. A Muslim washing his nose, doing ablution. Sin is dripping by kilos. Brother, if Joe Biden, he do that, is that going to work or only with Muslims? Hmm? What if a Christian prince, he decide to wash his nose? His sin will drop from his nose? Hmm. So if you wash your anus, what will be drop from there? It's just a question. Don't be upset. Sin coming from his nose? Somebody in Ramble saying he don't want to see that. What's wrong with you? This is science. This is pure science. You know, when you study medicine, they go, they take you. Uh, you know, they, they teach you uh, how to, how the liver work, how the heart. So what they do, they chop the person in front of you. Come on, this is science. And now we want to show you with the clear evidence. Because Allah never lie. It's proven scientifically that if you put water in your nose, I mean, how disgusting it is even. Just try to put water in your nose and see how you will feel. Very, very bad. It's very unpleasant. Very, very unpleasant. This is if, if you did not suffocate. So now we put water in our nose and immediately, immediately, 
the sin will start dripping. True story. Any Muhammadan? Nobody? Imagine we speak to Zakir Naik and we have Zakir Naik live on air with us. And we ask him, can you explain to us how the sin will drop from our nose? Christian Prince, first of all, Prophet Muhammad, he did not say sin will drop from his nose. Look, it's in front of me, it says that the sin will drop from his nose. Christian Prince, you are a big fat liar. It said, and I am reading and quoting, word by word. He said, when a believer performs evolution, then he rendered it in the north, and then the sin will come with north. And when he snuffed up the water, the sin come out from his nose. You just say the, the, the sin, you just say that, the sin come out from his nose. Good then, Prince, you said that the sin will drop from his nose. Prophet Muhammad did not say drop. So you are a liar, and I get you but Abdul, okay, but when the water comes from your nose, is it going to come out the river or it drops? Because you just put a few drops there. So is it going to drop or is it going to be like big poo poo? Give them breath. First of all, it's very haram to train the word. Allah he said in the Quran, in the Holy Quran, that those who train the word of Allah. What the word of Allah? We are going to be talking about snots and boogers and nose. Respect yourselves, I connect. Look at this. So it doesn't say drop, it says go out. Can you explain to us how this thing go out from your nose? Exactly. The thing out of your nose by dripping. Okay. Abdul, you just told me I'm lying because I said the word to drop. And now you are saying to me the sin will be dropping. Hmm. Any Muslim? So imagine there's 20,000 people listening to Zakir Naik and you ask him such a stupid question about stupid prophet. Is it true that the sin drop? Is that how easy it is? Why well, you want to continue even the prayer? Don't pray. I mean, this guy Muhammad, he have a lot of weird stuff. Like a Muslim, he have to shake his penis three times after he pee. First time I heard this, I asked a kid in my age. I said, so why three times? He said, I don't know. Ask the teacher. You know, I am a Christian, I don't, uh, you know, but I attend Islamic uh, classroom just for a love. So I was listening to the sheikh. He's a sheikh. The teacher is a sheikh. So I said to him, sir, why a person he have to shake his penis three times? What not? Why not four? Uh, first of all, actually, I said three, three times. He said, because that will make it clean. Said, what about we may check it for them? That will make it cleaner. He said, no, haram. Said, what? So is the purpose to make it a clean or a cleaner or why is haram? He said, we Muslim, we follow the tip of Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad said three times, we do it three times. He had no answer. <laughs> and then I told my friend after we left the class, I think you Muslims, if you shake it four times, your penis will come off. This is why it's risky, as the teacher said. Three times. You notice, by the way, all of those things is three times. You have to put water in your nose three times. You have to put water in your mouth three times. Three times, three times, three times. This man, Muhammad, is stuck with three times. There's certain numbers Muhammad he's stuck with wherever he go. Seventy, seven, three times. Any Muhammadan? All right, we have H here. Go ahead, H. Are you there? Okay, he's gone. Anyone? All right, my friend, no problem. 
Do we have any Muhammadan? Muslim brothers, I committed a major sin. And I have a question now about the water I will use in my nose. If there is certain kind of water or any water from the faucet. If there is certain details about the water. Anyone? Obviously, this is a religion of fictions and stupidity. A man, he want to have sex with his wife. His wife, now she's in the bed, she's horny. The husband, now he tempted her by showing her his uh, pretty body, like Zakonaik, you know, Zakonaik looks so good. So she's now so excited. She saw her husband, Zakonaik, naked. And now Zakonaik, before he performed intercourse, he have to pray to Allah. Allahumma dalni nabni. Allahumma dalni kabaith. Allahumma dalni nabni kabaith. And the wife, like she starts snoring. Now you want to pray? And why? Because if you don't pray, Shaitan, he around himself around his penis. Which I find it very difficult for Shaitan to do with such a man. So if you don't say the prayer before intercourse, Shaitan will round himself around your penis? Really? The first condom in the history? So why you can't get AIDS? As long as Shaitan is rounding himself. Why people get disease then? Sexual disease. If he is the one, is the can. <laughs> oh boy. I am a truly, truly con convinced that Islam is from a true God. There's no question about that. If you are in YouTube, you like to join us here, you can, you know, join the Discord and call me. Hmm? Just in case you like to join us. <clears throat> Who wants some coffee? Anyone wants some coffee? I'm drinking coffee. I'm really converted now. I'm converting to Islam. I am in the process of converting every day. You know, and the other day I noticed I shake it three times. And I was wondering, like, how I did that? Oh boy. Am I a Muslim now? Why three times? Usually I shake it 20. <laughs> three times? What is the magical number? And by the way, Muhammad, he wiped his ass three times too. And you can imagine how dirty it is still. Is that true that he wiped his ass three times? With the three rocks? Do you think Muhammad was deceived by Satan? Hey, my friend, we blame Satan for everything. I believe Muhammad himself is the devil himself. But he's a stupid devil. Obviously, he created this, you know, a cult for his benefit. Always, always, when uh, to examine any uh, cult, check the leader of the cult, the founder. You will find all of them they seek privilege. All of them. And number one privilege that they can sleep with the women who they follow them. Number two privilege is the money. Number three, privilege, the authority. Jesus, he washed the feet of his disciples. He treated them as brothers, even though he is God. Jesus have zero privilege. None. He never get paid. He never th seek uh, uh, power. He was always humble. 
and he told his disciples when they refused him to wash their feet, if you don't let me do it, you don't belong to me, I do not know you. And he told them, if you cannot be a servant, you cannot be a master. So the Messiah was a master by being servant, not the opposite. Muhammad, he created a filthy cult for the sake of his privilege, the fifth of the booty, and limited women to sleep with him. He wanted to be sure that the best of the booty, and he made verses about those in the Quran. I saw a video of the Dean show saying, how, what is the proof? What is the proof that Prophet of Allah Muhammad <clears throat> is from God? The guy in the video, maybe I can't find it, but I want to play it so they won't, you know, play copyright stuff, you know. He said, well, Prophet Muhammad never have any privilege. In the video they say is that. Let me try to find it. I'm not sure really what was the video who was speaking there, but it is in the Dean show for sure. I'm just trying to remember from the image I'm scrolling in YouTube to see which one. Yeah, not sure really which one. In the video, they said that Prophet Muhammad has zero privilege. We go to the Quran, we find that there is more than 16 to 17 privilege, all of them, most of them about sex and money. Any Muhammadan? <laughs> I'm just trying to find it. All right. They lie. Can you show us where the Messiah is the King of Kings in the Day of Judgment? Yeah, you can go to the book of Revelation. I think chapter 17. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Nobody? So this time in the morning is good for who? Can you guys tell me which countries are... Don't tell me exactly, I mean, what city you are, but which country, if you don't mind to see, the majority now they are watching from where? UK, Belgium, Germany, Netherlands, England, Israel, Canada, UK, all right, look like most of it is in Europe, few only in UK, in USA, Malaysia, Sweden, India, South Africa, okay, Indonesia. Yeah, it's late for Indonesia, Norway. So mostly look like it is uh, uh, in, in Europe. All right. Even Australia and Pakistan. How is Pakistan doing? Uh, Europe, Texas. All right, thank you very much. So the majority, obviously, they are in Europe. Hello? Yes, mister, go ahead. Oh, hello, uh, Christian Prince. I appreciate the work you do. I'm from Germany. All right. And I'm a Christian. 
Germany is full of Turks and Arabs, so I'm a Christian and they're, they are uh, Muslims. So what's, can you give me something that is easy to debunk? Because when I argue with them, they come with the Trinity, but Trinity is hard to explain. So um, they always say, yeah, um, go and read the Quran, but I say, there's so many verses, like, can I read you some, um, some surahs? All right. Well, you know, first of all, the Trinity is not hard to explain. Oh, what you need to do is saying, this is how God he is. Can you explain to me why Allah have legs? Just tell him that, you know? Oh, yes, I've saw this one too. Um, where you explained on, is your channel on YouTube Islam Education? Is it yours? I uh, understand so what? Islam Education. Okay, what about it? Is it your, um, is it your channel? No, no, no. People, they post my videos everywhere, you know? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Because I've seen... So, um, when, let's, listen to me carefully. Take a note. When somebody says to you, can you explain to me the Trinity? Then say to him, can you explain to me why Allah? He have a hand and five fingers and a shin and a foot. He will say, we cannot explain. So I said, so then you say to him, how come you are questioning the Trinity, but you don't question your God? Why Allah have shin? Is Allah shin is the same as Allah himself? As are they united? Are they separated? Are they one, one part? Same time, can I say something, please? listen, same time, the Trinity is very simple. There's no, it's not hard to explain. God, he is three person and one. What I will explain to you about it. Three person and one in the same time. If God cannot be three and one, he cannot be God. This is how he is. So Allah is one person, but yet he have a hand. This one person who have a hand, he have hand for what reason? Is that because the hand is connected to Allah and that make it the hand of Allah and make it Allah himself? So is Allah is a hand? Is Allah is a shin? Muslim don't question Allah. They don't question why Allah have no spirit. Our, our God, he is a spirit and he have a spirit. So it's very normal to say for him, how come your God is one? Yet in the Quran, he says in chapter 21, verse number 17, Had we intended to take a partner, a wife of our son, we have to take it from us. Allah, if he is one, he will take a partner from us. Who is us? He will partner with who? The Muslim usually, they will say, and they give you a false translation, they say sometime presence, they say sometime uh, 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 from us, uh, so they, they change it, but the Quran is so clear. Had we intended to take a partner, we take it from us. And then, if we go and read the interpretation, you will see that us mean the virgins in heaven or the angels. But if Allah is one, how those are us in the interpretation? If Allah is one, how he will take a partner from us. So this is the last sentence, please. Chapter I'm 20, writing. chapter 21, verse number 17. Do you see my screen? Uh, yes, I'm writing down. Wait, please. All right. So had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, etc., we could sure, surely have taken it from us. Who is us? If Allah is one, you say us if you are a person belong to the same group of people or same creatures. Is the angel of Allah are us? Are they? Uh, is Allah an angel? Is the women in the in the heaven they are from the same kind of Allah? I thought they are women, a human. How that us work? The Muslim usually. When Allah, he say we, they say here is about being majestic. Allah, he elevate himself to be respected. But this is again against their argument. Why? Obviously, Allah don't like to be called I because he don't feel respected by being I. So he call himself fake we. So it's not be fit to Allah to be called Trinity, but it be fit to Allah 
to call himself we, which is fake we? That's number one. Number two, the first we is majestic. The second we is majestic. What about us? How we can solve it? Very stupid statement in the Quran. Okay, thank you. Because um, Ramadan, I think for Islam, it's, it starts in one uh, in one week. And people, is it true that they say that um, Shaitan comes out of somewhere? That is free on Ramadan? No, according, Muslim. according to Muslim, Shaitan, he will be chained in the month of Ramadan. And this is again an, an, another proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Why? If shaitan is a chain, so who is the one committing sin? <laughs> In month of Ramadan, actually, violence increase. If you, if you, if you search right now, if you type in Google, yes. why violence, and go and find the answer from Muslim website. Why violence increase? In Ramadan, I'm not going even to show you. This one uh, in another video, he said uh, Ramadan is not good because people die from because the body changes. Heart attack, yeah, heart attack. So heart attack, yes. Yeah. So Ramadan, according to Muslims, not Christian website. You can check. Mm -hmm. Be sure to check from Muslim website. In the month of Ramadan, can you name violence. Muslim, Muslim website. Yeah, I will. I will try to find you. Okay. This is a Moroccan website, Morocco World News. Superiority crime in Ramadan. Let me post the link. And they are talking about why crime increase uh, in Ramadan. Let us see here. Give me a minute. And I have another question, please. All right. Can I ask? Go ahead. Okay. Um, another problem I'm facing is when I'm debating with Muslims, they, um, first of all, when I state something, they say this hadith is weak. Or they only take what they what they like. I say this is Sahih. Sahih means good, right? And Hassan, because I've seen this. You do this. I say it's uh, Sahih. It is from Sahih Bukhari. So there's no there's no point of this of of talking. This is a good hadith. But they say no. I only follow the Quran. And when I state the Quran, they give me some some surahs and they back it up with hadiths. So they only take what what they like. And if I say something, they say no. This is not how Muhammad said it. First of all, when a Muslim he say the hadith is the if, you just say to him, so you agree with me that Islamic books is full of corruption. If he say yes, he says, so how you can know which one is true? Plus, the Quran itself does not exist. The Quran itself is a hadith. If you go in the Quran and we type the word hadith, we will find the word appear many times in the Quran. And the Quran give definition to itself. That is a nothing but a hadith. All of those verses in the Quran using the word hadith. You see it in the screen? Yes, yes, I see. All right. I see. So when you wanna in speak, no, when you wanna so. give interpretation for the Quran, uh Muhammad he claimed that interpretation for the Quran is interpretation of the hadith as we see in chapter 12 verse number 21 interpretation of the hadith so here teaching interpretation of what the Muslim they translate as of event but the fact it is says hadith you go and you see the same chapter 12 verse number 101 interpretation of the hadith and then when the book of Moses described, which is the Torah, the Quran call it Hadith, chapter 20, verse number 9. 
when it comes to you, the hadith of Moses, not the story of Moses in the translation. This is false translation. Let us see if we can find a translation. Use what it's called interpretation, uh, whatever they call it, translation. Funny, yeah. Huh? Let us see this one. Translation. I like it. Huh? Do you see it? Do you see hadith of Moses? Hadith? Yes. Hadith of Moses. Kind of this, is this is not. Uh, this is not. This is Arabic written in uh, English letters. And this is what Muslim they come to me when they come here. I ask them to read a verse. They claim that they know Arabic, so read. They read this, <laughs> trying to fool us, claiming that they knew Arabic, but in fact they don't. So here you see that Moses' book is not even necessarily the Torah. It is a hadith. So the the word hadith is the Quran. The word hadith is everything Allah has sent. And we can find tons of verses. Let us continue. Uh, as an example, chapter 39, verse number 23, Allah has sent down the best of the hadith, which means the Quran, a book. Change the translation. Or let us go to the the English uh, uh, recitation of it. English Arabic. Where is the translation? All right. Allah نزل أحسن الحديث كتابا. So what is the hadith? Is a book. What is that? The Quran. Chapter thirty-nine, verse number twenty-three. So when the Muslim they say the hadith is corrupted, they are calling the Quran to be corrupted, because the Quran itself is nothing but hadith. Are you with me? Yes, I'm there. I'm listening. All right. Anything else? Yes. Yeah, sorry for the start. Two more questions. All right. And so I ask myself, when you you constantly debate sheikhs, right? Mm -hmm. And they know all the stuff. So my question is, are they sick? Because like, when you have the hadith saying a shaitan got a male body part on his left knee and a female body part on his right knee, you you must some you must have some common sense to think, right? Like. Why don't they think? Is that hard to put the piece together and leave Islam? Like what? What's hard to? I don't understand why they don't leave Islam. My friend, people who believe in a flying carpet, <laughs> and you are talking about they have a sense. See, the Trinity does not make sense and it's not logical. But a guy who have a flying carpet can carry an army of a three thousand five hundred mile long army. It makes sense. A prophet who was riding the flying carpet, he heard an ant saying to the other ants. And where he heard the ant, he heard the ant in the valley of the ants. Where is that? Look like there is a state. It's part of United Nations. It's called the United States of Ants. We did not find it yet, but it's there. Okay, and according to Muslim, this is where gold and silver grow, which is true. So when Suleiman he reached the valley of the ants, one of the ants she said to the other ant, "Take your take into your consideration. Ants don't speak. Ants are deaf. They communicate only by chemical and vibration. They don't hear any sound. So till when they came to the valley of the ant." And if you don't like this translation here, by the way, Muhammadan, you can change the translator. You know, any any translation you want. All of them for me is laughable and stupid. So now the guy, Suleiman, he arrived to the valley of the ant. Uh, one of the ant, she said, look, focus with me with the word said. Oh, ye ants, get into your habitation, lest Suleiman and his horse crush you. Now Suleiman, he laughed at her speech. And Suleiman, if you go two verses before, you will find Allah he taught him the language of the birds. Yet Suleiman is speaking to the ants. 
Now, is this a da'if hadith? No. Is that a da'if Quran? Maybe. <laughs> and then if you read the story, by the way, if you read the interpretation for the story, you would die laughing. The aunt, uh, Suleiman, he arrested her. He questioned her. He said, come here. You know, like, who, who dare to say no to Suleiman? You know, who dare? I mean, imagine you are an aunt. Huh? And now Suleiman with his flying carpet and 3,000... Five, a three three thousand five hundred long, uh, 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 mile long army. And now Suleiman, he heard you. I mean, how many billion ants there is in that valley? It's called the Valley of the Ants. But Suleiman, he heard one ant. Huh? I mean, he have a special radar, special frequency. He heard only one ant. So when, when Suleiman he heard the ant, he started questioning her because he was so upset. How dare you to scare the ants from me? Don't you know that I am a just prophet sent by Allah? He said to the ant. The ant, she said to him, Suleiman, you are wrong. This is not why. Because I told them to hide because I was afraid. They will be tempted with your beauty. They will be tested. What? <laughs> so if you read the story about this ant, which is Muslims websites and Muslim books is full of it. Islam is full of it anyway. So if you go here as an example, let us show you this. And this is in English. What is, what is the... What is the reason of Islam? Like, what is the purpose? The purpose of Islam, and there is a, the same as many false religion. People need religion. People need religion. Therefore, uh, they, you know, uh, the Hadith says that before Islam, they used to, uh, they find any stone, they go and do tawaf around it, and the Muslim people are the same. So Muhammad he copied the old oh, cult. Oh, he stole it. Huh? Oh, Muhammad stole it. Stole what? And the 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 religion. I've seen well, Muhammad is Muhammad. He is mixing religion together. Uh, uh, Islam is exist as a cult, as a as a pagan, uh, uh, from before Islam. This is why the Arab they worship Allah. Allah have oh, three I daughters. I was I was talking to a friend. I told him that because. I've seen some, um, some same things in the Quran say this is almost like the Bible, but they say no. We yeah, some. Yeah, that. he stole. He stole many things. We don't know actually who was the one who stole them because Muhammad maybe is not the one who put those in the Quran. We don't know. But when we debate Muslims, we debate them about what they believe. Anything else, my friend? My, yes. My next question: Is there something that can take you from Islam? Because all my friends here, they call themselves Muslims, but like they are far from the religion. Like, there's nobody, there's nobody far, there's nobody far from the religion, because a Muslim is someone who cheat, someone who lie, someone who fornicate, someone who do all kind of faith, and that what make him Muslim. That's why Allah He said, or Muhammad said, if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you and replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. So, can you give me uh, the hadith, please, or the Quran verse, so I can um, show this to my yeah. friends? Thank you. So Muslims, when they are doing everything wrong, they are practicing the core of Islam. And let me show you the reference. All right. That's why Muslims they like Islam because simply in Islam you can do all kind of faith and still you are a good person. All what you need to do at the end of the day you say Subhanallah wa bihamdihi or clean your nose with water and the sin will drop out. So here it says 
And this is a Sahih Muslim. The Muslim, they cannot say this is weak, you know. As you see, this is all is Sahih. It says it clearly that if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you and will replace you uh, with people who commit sin. By him in my in, in whose hand is my life, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence and he would replace you by those who would commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah. So all what required from a Muslim is not to, not to commit sin. No. Is to commit sin. Is the opposite. To commit sin and ask for forgiveness. In fact, if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. Which but means... at the same time, they have to look for Hassanat, right? So it doesn't make any sense it, to get in heaven. We have to look for what? They have, they have to look for Hassanat. Um, no, 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 no. Just ask for forgiveness. All, of the, all the rest is not important. All the rest. Are you see? Just ask for forgiveness. Commit sin. Allah, He is a, a mentally ill person. He enjoy people committing sin and begging Him. It's like somebody, he, he, he torture his dog. He make him hungry in order to control the dog. You know, to make the dog obedient. So he, he abused the dog uh, just for the sake of feeling that he is a master. And this is what Allah is about. He treat so, Muslims like dogs and he abuse them if they don't commit sin. So you commit sin, you are doing fine with me. And now you, you as a dog, you have to beg for forgiveness. And uh, there is many solutions for sin in Islam. You do not need to do this, actually. There's a solution, like you can say, 100 times, uh, Bismillahi wa bihamdihi. If you say that, all your sin is gone. Or, if you wash your nose three times, your mouth three times, your hand three times, all your sin is gone. So it's easy. Islam is an easy, easy religion. There's no religion in the religion. So Allah is not real. It's an imagination. It's a creation of Muhammad, right? No, Allah is not real, but not the creation of Muhammad. Allah is exist for previous religions. The true name is al la La is the name of the moon god. Al is a word meaning God. Muhammad did not create the name. The name is exist for centuries and centuries before Islam. Muhammad, he just continue worshipping the same God of the pagan Arab and non-Arab before him. <coughs> All right, yes, brother. Thank you, Christian. You're welcome. Let us take the other. You. You're welcome. Uh, a, go ahead, please. The person, his name is A. <coughs> go ahead. Uh, oh, yes. So, um... I know you from my brother, and you from my brother, and I don't think you uh, realize the gravity of what you're doing yet. The, like, you're affecting a lot of families, the communities with what you're, like, I just got to produce community. I see how you work and operate, and it's like, you know, like, I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand why you're doing this. What do you mean why I'm doing this? Like just spreading like false information about Islam, you're taking young people, confusing them, getting them away from their religion. Well, that sound and, sound sound like you are sure. So can you give me the false information I just gave? Uh, well, I mean, I I was listening to you when you were talking about the miracles. It's a miracle for a reason. It's not gonna make sense. Which one is a miracle? Well. Uh, Sulaiman talking to the to the ants, for example. Like, what is what is so funny about that? I don't get it. Yeah, you tell me what is the logic of Sulaiman speak. What we heard, the Quran speak about Jesus across in less than eight words, eight words. But when he speak about the ant, he give us a page. Who? What we get? What is the benefit of the ant speaking to Sulaiman and Sulaiman is speaking to the ant? What is that? What we learn now, and how this is a miracle. This is a scientific miracle because simply ants don't talk. They don't speak. Well, ants that's are why it's a ants. No, ants is the diff. You see, the Quran did not say Allah made the ant talk. 
Suleiman he heard the ant, the ant she said to the other ants, which mean all ants they talk. So your God Allah made a mistake because either the ants talk or the ants they don't talk. If you read me carefully, you see they, com they communicate. They communicate, but you, if you read, it says he heard her speech. What speech? He heard, he heard Suleiman, he hear with his, eye, his, his, his ears, he's a human at the end of the day. So the and she said, do you see the word said? Do you see Suleiman says he was amused at her speech? So this is not a miracle. This is a, just a silly, stupid story taken from, from the Legion of the Jews. Go right now and search in Google. Forget about Christian Prince. Type in Google the, the Legion of the Jews. Hold on. The Legion of the Jews. The Legion of the Jews. The story of the ant. Suleiman and the ant. You will see it there. This is legions. So how Muhammad, he take a legion, the Jews, they tell it to their, to their kids, and he make it part of his holy Quran. do you know that it's a legend maybe it is because it exists it exists long before Islam the Jews have it search right now what you know why well, you don't yes but Islam, Islam is it's a continuation of Ex exactly religion. it's a continuation but continuation of legions because this is a legion it cannot be found in any holy book and nobody will believe in such a, 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 a you know, stupid story let me ask okay, you what about what, okay. about what about Jesus uh, turning water into wine well, there's a point of that Jesus is God. What the point of Suleiman speaking to the end? What we learn from this now? And look, my friend, you can read, right? It says here, okay, it says here, oh, you people, we have been taught the speech of the birds. Okay, what Allah, he taught Suleiman? The language of the birds. So how he understand the end? Well, if he can teach him uh, to understand the birds, I, why cannot he teach him to understand the ants? So now if I learn the, the language of the chicken and the dogs, I can understand the language of the of the lizard? No. Okay, but, but this is not a, this is not a, this is not a bird. Is, is that, and why he said bird, he's, he should say, uh, we've been taught the language of all animals. No, he said the birds. So now, he he been told the language of the birds, and then suddenly he is speaking to the ant. And there was because that was a specific situation. Uh, okay, my friend, I'm I'm going, going to ask you. Uh, to listen, harsh. listen, I'm going to tell you about a miracle happening to my grandfather, and tell me if this is true or not. My grandfather he died standing because he was holding a stick. My grandmother she go inside the bedroom each time she see him for a year. She did not notice that he is dead. Why? Because when he died, he was holding a stick. Do you believe my story or you don't? Well, I, I know what you are trying to connect this with. Uh -huh. That is also another miracle. What miracle? I mean, the guy, he, nobody noticed because he was holding a stick. Not the, Because God made him stand. He's holding a stick. And because of the stick, nobody noticed he's dead. The guy, he's dead for a year. And then when the, when the termite, when the termite, they ate his stick. What is the miracle? Termite, they destroy the miracle of Allah. Well, Allah allowed them to destroy it. No, show me where it says. Yes. Allah, he wanted to hide his death. Can't Allah increase his age one year more? You know, do he, what is this for? So the, the, the Suleiman, the same person, he died, you know, and now Allah don't want anyone to know. Look like Allah is not in control. Of death he don't want anyone to know because he not finished the temple so Allah he made Suleiman when he die die when he's standing you know there's always a way to make a story look stupid you know and you are very good at that ah you just you just admitted that it's stupid I could tell me what the point of this now I, but don't change what I said. I said there's always a way to make a story look No, no, stupid. I'm giving you the mic. Make it smart. Go ahead. 
I am a person is good to make a story look bad. Is that what he said, guys? Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm not going to disturb you. Make this story smart. Go ahead. I don't remember the details of the story. No problem. Take your time. Chapter 34. There's no. There's nothing to remember. It doesn't say anything. Quran is just a silly book. There's no connection between the verse before it and the verse after it. <laughs> Read the verse before it. There's nothing to do with the, with the one. So now he made and he built the Maharib and even he built statues. So, okay. So now when, when we decided to decree death on him, who is the one who decreed death? Allah. Okay, why you want to hide death? Why you decree death if you don't want people to know that he is dead? Why? He made a mistake? So go ahead, you said, and, and you said, I can make a story look stupid. But in fact, it's not. Because you, he was, it's because he was putting the gin to work. And My friend. They needed him, but is they it, needed him to observe them and watch them. Okay, but isn't it the jinn is an ugly creature and they are the shaitan? So the shaitan now they are working for Allah? Building a mosque? Yeah, they were working. Uh, what? Uh, what working for? They are building a mosque. Shaitan. Yes. Okay, yes, guys, did you hear it? Why shaitan will build the mosque for Allah? I thought he's the enemy of Allah. Well, uh, because Sulaiman had the authority over them, and that was from Allah. This is another question. Why Shaitan will build the mosque for Allah? I thought this is the name. He should not be allowed to enter sh the mosque. It turned to be that even in a mosque is built by Allah. Oh, sorry, by Shaitan. Is Shaitan a Muslim? What is Shaitan a Muslim? Some of, the, some, of, some of the jinn are Muslim. I'm not talking about the jinn now. I said Shaitan. Focus with me. No, he is not Muslim. Are you sure? Yes. All right. This is the Quran. The Quran says that Shaitan, he worked for Allah and he worship Allah. And he obey Allah. Read it carefully. Chapter 15, verse number 39. Allah and Shaitan, they, they have a very good relationship. They are friends. In fact, Shaitan, he worship Allah. Iblis Satan said, Oh my God, because you mislead me. Do you see it? Chapter 15, verse number 39. Tell me how Shaitan and why shaitan worshiping Allah and he is a Muslim and why Allah misled a good Muslim boy his name is Iblis I'm listening remember I am the one who make any story look so stupid so you are welcome to make this story so smart go ahead Misled is Avwaitani, which is, it's not really misled, it's more like, uh, I, I cannot find the right word, but seduced me, I guess. <laughs> That's even more ugly. You try to fix it, you make it a blind. So Allah, he said, you shaitan to do bad? You are, I guess by making, you are right. I guess by making the humans and making. What making a human? Making it's the, you who said Allah. Uh, Wait, uh, me, no, 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 no. Not making Adam. Don't make things up. He did not say anything about Adam. He says. No, I'm, I'm trying to explain the story logically. Like, you cannot just. You have to think about the okay, story. But you, you did. Just, but you like, did say. You did say Allah. He said use shaitan. Did you say that? Wait. Let, let me try to think of a better word. Uh, no, no, this is the correct word. This is the correct word. Agwa. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. You said the truth. So, Allah, He seduced Shaitan to do wrong. Why Allah will do that? 
Okay, I, I've had uh, tempted me. I think that's a better word. No, know? no, no, no. Al riwaya. Yes. Al okay, let me show you. Here we go. The same, the same word. Yes. The same word in the Quran. Yes. You will see al gawin. Listen, listen, my friend. Al gawin. Who is al gawin? As long as you speak Arabic. I'm waiting for you. Wait, let's let's stay. Let's stay. We, we are staying. We are not moving. We are not moving. We are still talking about the same word. What the word al gawin mean? The people who want something. Really, I thought the criminals. Yes. I, I thought the criminals, the bad, the evil doer. Are you sure there's people they want something like somebody want ice cream? Is that what al gawin mean? Context, I think it's correct to say that people will want something. No, no, that's false. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh, maybe no, because you know that the Christian yeah. prince cannot be wrong in this. You know, let's go. Here we go. Let us go. I'm typing. Uh, there's uh, this website is weird. Let us see. There is well, just to remove one. Yeah, I don't know what it says. Al Gawin. Yeah, that's one. Right. Sorry. Says here, Inna ibadi leisa laka alayhum sultan illa man ittaba'aka min al-gawin. Yeah. Okay, who, who is al-gawin? Who is al-gawin? Let us see what it says. Al-gawin is those who they are evil. You can open the translation, you can open the interpretation, and you will see Al Gawin is the criminals, the evil doers, the the filthy. Okay, but, but do you agree that that's the definition in the Quran, not in Arabic? Read carefully. Yeah, this is the definition in the uh, Quran and in Arabic. But wh how is that in? I don't see it in Arabic like that. Why is it even? Al in because Al Gawin, Al Gawin is description for the evil ones. Read carefully. This is your translation. Certainly you shall not, you shall have no authority over my slaves except those who follow you of Gawin. Between two bracket, Mushrikeen and those who go astray, criminals, polytheists, evil doers, etc. This is what Al Gawin mean. Do you see it? Okay. So Shaitan he said, Agwaitani, which is translated by Muslims as misled me. And you translated it as he seduced me. Allah, he seduced shaitan to be what? To be mushrik? To go astray? And to be criminal? You want me to tell to me become to polytheist? And to become an evildoer? Allah, he made shaitan do that. He seduced him. You Why? Me, Why? You how he him. Why? No, I'll tell you how he did it. No, no, I'm not asking you how. I'm asking why he did it. I don't know how to start by why. Let me start by first. No, no, like because to, because right how I don't care. I don't care, my friend. I can I can seduce you by a woman. I can seduce you by a potato, tomato. This is not the the the, the intention of it is the important. Why Allah want to make shaitan? Shaitan was not a bad person, as you see. Shaitan was a victim of Allah. Shaitan is a victim. Of Allah. Well, maybe it was the maybe it was the death from Allah as well. No, it says it clearly. You misled me. Allah did not say no. I did not. He agreed. What this? Uh -oh. Give me, give me the test Allah He gave to Shaitan, and then we will see if there is what this. There is no test. Allah. Well, he he became he became he became one of the. But he, he, but he just confessed that Allah is the one who made him Gawin. <laughs> so Allah misled him. And now I'm asking you, what is the test Allah gave to Ad, to, 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 uh, to Shaitan? Adam, he been taught not to eat from the tree, correct? Yeah. Okay. What is the test Allah he gave to Shaitan? Did he tell him don't talk to Adam? Did he tell him not to deceive him? So which one happened first? Adam must be, uh, uh, Shaitan must be deceived before the story of Adam. No, he, he was he was jealous. What jealous? He okay, what, where do you get this story from? Sorry, where in the Quran says Adam was jealous? 
the, 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 sorry, uh, uh, Shaitan, show me where, where Shaitan was jealous. In fact, the Quran says that Allah, he have an argument with the angels. And they say to him, are you going to create someone who will do, uh, do mis mischievement and mislead? He said, I know what you know not. So then he asked, uh, he asked, uh, he asked the angels to bow down and to to Adam as a penalty. Correct? Yeah. Okay, but Shaitan, he refused to bow down. Is that correct? Yeah. But Shaitan isn't an angel. Allah he command the angels to bow down. Why is upset from Shaitan? Hmm? Shaitan is not an angel in Islam. Shaitan in Christianity, Satan is an angel. He's a foreign angel. In Islam, he's just a genie. So imagine I say all cats say meow, except the dog. He says ow, and then I get upset from the dog. Well, he's not a cat. Allah commanded the angels to go down. Do you see where it says Allah commanded the angels and Satan to go down? No. So why Allah is upset from the shaitan? He is not part of the conversation. He did not accuse Adam of anything. He is not the one who said Adam would do mischievement. It was just the angels, Allah and the angels speaking. So why even, it's not even fair. Why Adam should go down to someone he had nothing to do with him? Here you see that Allah is being unjust. He is punishing someone. He did nothing wrong. He did not talk to Adam. He did not accuse Adam. He have nothing to do with Adam conversation. It was only Allah and the angels. And then we are upset because he did not bow down. In the top of that, if you read the story carefully, you will see how silly the author of the Quran. Allah wanted to prove to the to the angels when they accuse Adam that he know what they know not. As we see in verse number 30, chapter 2, 30. Allah, he decided to get them busted. How? He taught Adam the names. He said to him, this cat, her name is Susu. This dog, his name is Fufu. This, this, uh, this tree, it's called Mulberry. And now Allah want to show them that they do not not. He's God. He's the one who knows everything. So he put the dog and the cat and the tree in the front of the angel and he said to them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. In fact, do you see the word truthful? In Kuntum Sadiqin, you speak Arabic. What is the opposite of Sadiqin? What is the opposite of Sadiqin? He said to them, In Kuntum Sadiqin, what is the opposite of Sadiqin? Liars. Liars, thank you very much. So Allah is accusing the angels to be a liars. The angels of Islam proven to be all of them liars in the Quran. It's in the front of you. So if they are truthful, they will be able to say the names. They said to him, Allah, how we can do that? We do not know. Which is funny. The angel said to him, well, what we are doing the opposite. You give us those things, we give it names, and you tell us the names. I mean, isn't it funny that I am the one who called the dog Juju, and then I ask you, what is the name of my dog? And then you say to me, I do not know. And then I say his name is Juju, and that is the proof that I am God. How does that work? It should be the opposite. Very silly, stupid story. And now... That's, that's really, it's, that, that, that also can show how... Allah can create things and... No, 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 this is not about create. This is not about create, my friend. Hold on. It's case, it says Allah, he taught Adam the names. And by the way, the same thing is mentioned in the Bible, but not what Muhammad is saying now. God said, taught Adam the names. And the Bible meant God gave Adam knowledge about things around him. That's it. So how Adam, he knew it, angels will not. That's, that's silly. Isn't it you Muslim, you say angels, they can hear us when we are talking. Isn't it you Muslim, you say angels are everywhere? Suddenly now the angels, they are not? What happened? Yeah, but, but no, at that, at that moment, 
Oh, at that moment, at that moment, they took drugs, they, they were taking drugs. Yeah, yeah. But look what happened now. Your God is accusing angels to be liars. You receive your Quran from who? From an angel. Is that correct? Uh, in in about, 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 like, it's not in, about their first, like, um, their nature. It's not like, all oh, they're liars or like they're lying beings. Because of that moment, what lame? Uh -huh. that, that my uh, that the humans will. Uh, what the human, my friend? I ask you, what is the opposite of a truthful? You yourself, you said liars. I agree with you. Yes. So now Allah, if accusing angels to be liar about this topic, that means they can be liars about everything. You can't be liar in one thing and truthful in the other thing. A liar is a liar. When you lie, I don't, I you see, don't, I don't see it. no, you see it, you see it. You're just uh, trying to, to, to play dumb now. If I lied, that means I lied. Is that correct? I cannot say I am the truthful because the second you commit sin, isn't it your prophet? You say, like, when, when everybody commits sin, why we, why we call him a sinner? Because simply every one of us commits sin. The second you commit one sin, you are a sinner. It doesn't matter how many. One, two, three, four, five, doesn't matter. You're just counting. But still, sin is sin. And now, according to this, they are committing sin. They are not truthful. They are liars. And look what your God did. He ordered them to bow down to a man. And this is against what Muslims they claim, that Islam is a religion of monotheism, and we bow down only to Allah. Suddenly now the angels are bowing down to a man who will do mischievement. And guess what? The angels, they were right. Adam, he did mischievement. And Allah himself, just a few verses after, he came out from heaven. So the angels, they told the truth. And Allah is ignorant. Allah, he kicked the same person who he just said, I know what you know not. The angels said to him, this guy will do bad. Him and his kids, Allah accused them of lying. So who is the liar? But Allah, but Allah did tell them that he will that he will send the like even before he did the the sin, he told the thank angels that he will put the humans in the earth. Thank you. You just hit your God in the in the head with a big bullet, not a bullet, um uh, you know a, a missile, nuke nuke. Look what happened. According to your religion, Allah, He decreed the sin of Adam before He created him. Forty years, forty years before His creation. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So Adam did not commit sin. Based on this, correct? No, it, it, he, he did. And it was decreed for him. It was, out, yes, you can say it was out of so, so, so hold on. So, so when when I commit sin and you force me to commit sin, is that really sin? If you force me, that's a very complicated topic. No, no, no. It is very easy, and you are smart, and you speak Arabic. I'm showing the reference. Your God, he forced Adam to commit sin, which means he forced Shaitan to commit sin too. That's why he said, Awaitani. So both of them, they are victims of the evil God, Allah. As you see here, Moses saying to Adam, Hey, Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam says to Moses, you ignorant idiot. You are the one who spoke to Allah. Don't you know? that Allah, he forced me to commit sin in a decree 40 years before my creation. So why Allah is punishing shaitan if this is a plan from Allah? Which means shaitan, I will make shaitan. Now we connect the dots. Shaitan, he said to Allah, Aghwaitani, you misled me. How? He made him do, come to Adam and play with him. He forced him. Adam been forced too to commit sin, to disobey Allah. And all this plan is designed by Allah 40 years for both. So both of them, they are victims of the real devil, like Allah. Yeah, well, 
well, when you, uh, like I said, there's always uh, more than one way to look at a, a story as you perceive it. My you friend, what way, way, what way? Listen, this is the decree you agreed. Allah, he decreed. Can Adam change it? No. Don't tell me one way, other way, three. There's no way. This is decree, destiny. Can Adam change his destiny? No. It's more like knowledge. Like no, 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 no. This is not knowledge. Don't make it think things up. You see, he's saying to him, Ad Moses saying to him, Adam says to Moses, do you blame me? Which means we cannot blame him. If he is, if it's about knowledge only, yes, we can blame Adam. He commits sin. Correct? Knowledge of Allah will not change that you commit sin. So we can blame you. But this is not what happened. Can, are you blaming me for something which Allah decreed? Decreed, not Allah knows. So why we cannot blame Adam? Because this is not his choice. He been forced to. And your prophet, he says, that Adam, he won the argument. So we cannot blame Adam for his sin. What happened? Did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Um, no, not, not that. All I'm trying to. I'm holding. Are you holding? I don't think you are holding. I think you are collapsing. With my respect to you, your argument is false. This is Satan. What we see in front of us is Satan. Satan is forcing people to commit sin. This is going to be God. God is about just. So why Adam was kicked out from heaven? Isn't, isn't this the same story in the no, Bible? No, no. In the Bible, God did not decree for Adam to commit sin. God told him, don't commit sin. Adam commits sin. Here is a different story. Your God, he forced Adam and Shaitan. So now Shaitan himself is a person committing sin, forced by Allah. Adam himself, he forced to commit sin by Allah. So Shaitan and Adam, both of them are victims of the biggest criminal, which is Islam, religion, Allah. That, that, like, yeah. Um, I, I see your points, but I don't agree with it. Okay, let us see. Let us see if you would agree with me or not. I will go for something else. When you commit fornication, do you do you choose? Do, do you choose? Hold on, hold on. Do you choose to commit fornication, or Allah forces you to commit fornication? As I said. Christian, uh, Christian prince, it didn't like I, I'm. I wasn't here to come and like talk into these topics with you. I just want to tell you that like what you're doing is more than just having fun and making fun of a religion. It's like affecting a lot of families and. How many of your How many of your family left Islam because of me? Well, my my little brother watches your videos and it's just fucked up, you know. Oh. So look like you are the same now. You are leaving Islam because you could not answer yeah. me, and yet now you are trying to change the topic. My family, because of you, my family. Uh, if your brother he did not find this Islam is stupid, he will not leave Islam. He did not f up, as you said. He is the right one. And now you're trying to change the topic because you have no answer. You are out of answers. You don't know what to say. You came here to accuse me of misleading Muslims, making thousands of Muslims leave Islam. You don't know the impact you are doing in our society. It's not my fault. I'm just saying the truth. And the truth will set you free. That's what Jesus said. So you cannot answer why Allah will force you to commit fornication. How that is just. And then how he will punish me for it. How Allah, he forced Adam to commit sin and then he punish him for it. How Allah forced Shaitan to commit sin and then he punish him for it. This is not God. God is about just.
right. Well, I I don't have an answer for you. Um, what about leaving Islam myself, my, my, my friend, right now and, and save yourself? You don't have an answer because obviously the proofs is overwhelming. You came, you insulted me in the beginning, claiming that I'm lying, making stories look stupid, sound stupid when they are not, when in fact I am not doing that. I am showing you how stupid it is. And now you agreed with me. That's why you cannot answer. You speak Arabic. You are born in an Arabic family, I can tell. And you can read both in English and Arabic. So what is the excuse for you to say, I do not know? It's obvious. This God, he forced sin. If you don't commit sin, he will even destroy you, Muhammad said. Adam is a victim. Shaitan is a victim. Eve is a victim. I mean, everybody is a victim of Allah. So the real sinner in this earth, if he exists, it is the devil Allah. Because only evil one will force people to do evil and then he laugh at them, accusing them of doing evil. He's not even admitting that this is his evil. So while Jesus, he said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. Your God in the Quran says, are you going to guide the one who Allah misguided? So what his job is to misguide? And not only that, nobody can guide the one who I misguide. What kind of logic this logic is? Why Allah even misguiding people and why he will not be them gu guided? So I advise you, my friend, I'm not against you, by the way. I listen to you all the way, even though you are, your accusation is an insult to me. But I understand. I, I advise you right now to leave Islam, the same as your brother he did. Nothing else to say. I'm gonna hang up. Did you decide to leave Islam? You said you left Islam, right? No, no. You did. No, that's. Uh, then stay. That's, that's, then stay and prove me wrong. You are. You just admitted that Islam cannot refute me. You just when you say I'm going to leave, simply. No, I don't. I don't have the information. I don't have. No, you do. I gave you that. You do not need books. The, the the story in front of you. Your prophet did not give you books beside this. He gave you this. That's it. This is the story. Read it. The story of the first sin of the first man is not Adam's sin. It is Allah. Where do you want to go? Even your prophet make it clear that even when someone he commit fornication, all kind of sin, it was a decree. Decree. So now if I go and sleep with women, why Allah want to punish me for sleeping with women? Why there's a punishment for adultery when this is nothing but a decree from Allah? And you must commit. What a madness religion. Where is this decree? It's in front of you. Do you see it? This is the name of the chapter. Chapter of the son of Adam, share of zina, etc. Decreed from him. Do you see it? I can show it to you in Arabic. You speak Arabic. This is Babul Qadr. Qudira. Ala ibn Adam. Qudira. It's a decree. What kind of God? He made us fornicate. So he can punish us for fornication. He forces us to fornicate. What you will do now? You will say, I have to go? You run away from the truth? Is that how a smart, intelligent man like you do when he face yeah. something obvious? Oh, well, yeah. I just, I just want to, I don't want to hang up and say nothing. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm sorry, man, but thank you for having me and... Uh, Nice day. Well, I'm glad that you left Islam, my friend. And we will pray that soon you will accept Jesus. That is not going to happen. You left Islam already. You just agreed with everything I said. You are out of Islam. 
You are. And say hello to your brother. Maybe soon we will meet in the church together. Praise the Lord. We are always victorious. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? They are blaming me that Muslim society, tens of thousands of people leave in Islam and his family members of Islam, but he, he came to save his brother, supposedly. He and himself leaving Islam. What is this? How in the world that this is a religion? My friends, we are not here because we want to teach hate against Muslims. We are here to save them. The Lord, he says, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. And Muslims are people who they are sick with the falsehood of Muhammad. And we are here to give them the cure. From the Lord of the cure, the one who made the blind see, the one who heal any kind of disease even there's a video of Mufti Mink he says Jesus he just wave his hands and thousands of thousands get healed that is Jesus the one who have power over death not by killing but by resurrecting the one the Quran described that he can create from the mud the bird and he breathed into the mud and the mud will become a living flying bird that is my Jesus. Who is your Allah? An idiot. An author of a book, he cannot make a story to look smart for a second. So always we are victorious in the name of a Christ. And you always will be a loser. It doesn't matter how big your number is. Islamic society lost their peace since the time of Muhammad. You Muslim women cannot even walk in the street in peace alone. You have to have a guardian because of Muhammad. In the heart of Islamic countries. Because Islam made women a sexual object. A target. And made the man a predator. So instead of living as a human, we became wolves, biting each other. In a Christ, we are going back to Him and going back to our humanity. In Christ alone, a human being, He lived as a human. In Muhammad, in Allah, in the Quran, you are nothing but a beast. You are willing to bite your own brother. The Caliphate of the Muslims killed by Muslims. Aisha took an army to kill Ali and his family, which is the family of Muhammad, 10,000 men. Ali took an army to fight the other Muslims. Muslims killing Muslims don't stop from the time of Muhammad until now. Yemen, Syria, Iraq, you name it. They cannot live in peace because the king of peace is not in their life. And that is Jesus. So I say to you, Muhammad, and repent before it's too late. Your God is a fool. And your Quran is written by a drunk man. He cannot write a story and put it together. Full of contradiction and stupidity. And low ethic. I will be back later. I hope you guys you have a good time. Don't forget to subscribe to our forums, Ramble, YouTube, Patreon. But always you can find me. The best way to find where I'm going to go live next is by going to Patreon. May the Lord bless you. And let us pray for this Muslim who came today, who left Islam even though he did not dare to say so, that soon he will find the Messiah. He will find the truth and the truth will set him free. God bless. 
and thank you very much for being here. This is your brother Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly for today. And see you soon again. Take care.